long ago, when light and darkness still bore life. The goddess emerged from the light, and an entity known as the Vile God burst forth from the darkness. battle ensued between the deities. The light tore the darkness to shreds. Darkness corroded the light. And eventually, both sides lost their spark of life. And so, the goddess and the vile god fell into a deep, eternal slumber, like a dying star emitting a final burst of light before imploding into darkness. This place. I'm thinking about spending the rest of my life here. Huh? Don't you know where you are? You're in prison. The Clink, the Slammer, the Crowbar Hotel. I know exactly where I am. Heaven! Seriously, this place rocks! I get free food and as much sleep as I want. In fact, I want to retire here. means I'll have an excuse not to wash my face. I'm awestruck by your stupidity! How are you supposed to eat if you can't move your hands? Good point. Let's get out of here. I'm tired. You're gonna have to carry me the rest of the way. Huh? What are you talking about? You haven't even walked ten steps yet! Isn't life as mean be soft and weak? Now stop complaining and just carry me already. Quit messing around! You've only been locked up for three days! Stop talking back to me all the time, you stuck-up fairy. I'm the master here. You should be thankful that I'm even trusting a fairy with my amazing body. Just so we're clear, I'm not your slave. Got it? Fencers and fairies are equal. Remember that. Now be quiet. I put the guards to sleep with my magic. Let's hurry up and get out of here before they wake up. <laughs> Guess I've got no choice. <sighs> Why did I get stuck with someone like him as my partner? Man, I'm starving. I wish someone would donate me some bread. How's it going? You're not from around these parts, are you? <laughs> Is that obvious, huh? Hey, what's the deal with that sword? Oh, that? That's a fury, one of those old fairy weapons. 
That sword's been stuck there since before this town was built. Occasionally some foolhardy guy will swagger up to that sword to try to pull it out, but so far no one's managed to do it. Gotcha. Does something cool happen if you pull it out? Who knows? Every kid knows the legend, though. If you wield a fury, any wish you desire will be granted. Tell you what, if you're feeling confident, why don't you try pulling out that sword? I see. If it grants any wish, then I could wish for as much food as I want. Give me some food. I am the life that resides in the fury you hold in your hand. Oh, what's your name? I'm Fang. Give me some food. Nice to meet you, Fang. That sword belongs to you now, and with it, my power is yours as well. From this day forward, you are now a fencer. You're going to help me collect the furies. Hey, wait a minute. I shut my mouth and let you give your little spiel, but this is where I draw the line. A fencer? No one decides my fate except me. Now, hurry up and make with the food. Fencers are sword specialists who fight to collect the furies. That sword in your hand is just one fury out of a hundred. If you gather all the furies and revive the goddess who has been sealed away with the vile god, your wish will be granted. What the hell? That's not what I was told. You're a fraud! A big, fat, fairy fraud! I thought I'd just have to yank out this damn sword! Not at all! That's just the beginning! Now come, young fencer! Let's begin our wondrous adventure together! No. Huh? What was that? I said, no. I don't want to be a fencer. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Just thinking about collecting 100 weapons... Makes me sleepy. Hey! You're the one who broke the seal and woke me up! That makes you a fencer! You've already formed an unbreakable bond with me, so don't say such hurtful things! An unbreakable bond? I'll break any bonds I want. Later. Wait a second! The one who pulls out this sword is destined to revive the goddess with me! In the story. But I don't take orders from anyone. I'm the one who decides my fate. You're so mean! This is my first time, you know? Take some responsibility! Fine! Just walk away, you heartless scoundrel! You're the worst! So you thought you could get away with stealing some bread just because you pulled out that sword? Just how naive are you? I didn't steal it. I just thought it was a free sample. I should have just pawned the sword for some cash instead. You're terrible! The Fury chose you! Don't you know what that means? And the Fury has a super cute fairy living inside, instead of some old man or weird creature. You should be thrilled right now. Come on! Hey, you there! What are you doing? Oh no! It's the guards! They found you! Yeah, thanks to you screaming at the top of your lungs. All right, fairy. There's only one option. As your master, I order you to sacrifice yourself to save me. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm your partner. We're in this together. Now come on, fight! Use me, Fang. Use the power of the fury. Fairy Link! Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on, but I guess I've got no choice. <laughs>
Ready, Fang? Just use me and you'll defeat these guys in no time. You're just a damn sword! These guys still outnumber me! I'm not a regular sword, you know. You can do powerful attack combos and dominate your opponent. That's it? Seriously? That's nothing special. <laughs> I'm a fairy, remember? That means you can use me to cast magic. What? Magic? You should have said so before. Monkfish foie gras roasted meat? That's the stuff I want to eat! Come on, food! Hey, your magic's busted. What are you doing? It's not that kind of magic. It's attack magic, got it? Use that! Ah, uh, it's not useful at all. What are you talking about? Times like this are when it's most useful. Now let's go! Let's do this. That was nothing. I didn't realize I was so strong. Well, I guess it's not that surprising. I am pretty awesome. That's right. You've had potential as a fencer all along.
resisting. Let's see this. Stay down. Impossible. Let's see this. Stay down. Impossible. That was nothing. A new power. Yes! Let's do this! Get ready! Right. Stay down! Impossible! That was nothing! Impossible! That was 
Exit. Wait! That's... You? Are you a fencer? Huh? Nope, not me. I just accidentally became her first, and now she's trying to hold me responsible. I'm basically a victim of fraud. Now's no time for joking around. I get the feeling this guy's the real deal. I came here to confirm reports of a Fury sighting. But I never expected it to come directly to me. I suppose fate demands that those who walk the path of the sword to meet in such a way. Hey, hold on! Did you hear anything I just said? Regardless, my search for the Fury is ended. Let us now trade life for death and see who stands the stronger wolf. I'm telling you, I have no interest in all the Spencer stuff! To battle! yourself. Executing shooting <laughs> Let us be good to your place. What's with this guy? the power of a fencer? There is nothing behind your blade. No resolve, no conviction. You are a fool to stand against me with such a blade. Hmm? Hey, we have to run! You don't stand a chance right now! Don't be stupid! He's already made a fool of me once! I can't just run off with my tail between my legs! That doesn't matter! Just go! Listen to your fairy partner for once, would you? Stop pulling on me! So, the boy is a poor 
offensive. But something about him caused my soul to tremble. Perhaps it's best I let him go for now. Let go of my hand now. Just run off like that. I totally could have taken it. That's it. He was a veteran fencer. You don't even know how to fuse with your fairy. There's no way we're winning that fight. Yeah, well, whatever. Listen, I can tell you have said that you lost. You want to fight like he does, right? Then accept me as your partner and let's go find the rest of the fairies. Then we can revive the goddess. What are you talking about? Don't tell me what to do next. Like I already said, I'm not interested in doing anything that sounds like a hassle. What does that mean? Did you forget how I saved you earlier? Don't you have a conscience? Conscience? Never heard of it. Later. Your memories are gone? Yeah. I know that I have to revive the goddess, but I don't remember how I'm supposed to do that. So... So... What? Never mind. Just go already. Leave me alone. I must seem really annoying to you, huh? Well, this annoying little fairy will you anymore. What? Just hurry up and go already. After you abandoned me, my body and soul will wither away until I'm just a rag of cloth, waiting to die in some lonely pet alley, and I won't remember anything about myself. Listen, if I fused with you, would I be able to use the same kind of power he did? You sure would! Well, it does piss me off that I wasn't able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I don't really give a crap about your goddess, but I suppose I could use your help until I pay that bastard back. So you're saying... Saying I'll become your partner. See? You really are a nice guy after all. But I do have one condition. Condition? <laughs> there they are! Over here! I guess some of those guards are still alive. Freaking persistent. Complete. Yeah, right. Complete. Yeah, there is no now. Day. Excuse me, 
form. This combat form is what happens when your power merges with mine. It's called Fury Form. Great. Wasn't this sword stabbed through my stomach earlier? Why did I pose like that? This is so damn embarrassing. With this, your combat strength has increased drastically. Come on, let's go! So their rise basically transforms them, right? And wouldn't it be cooler if I shouted, It's Henshin time! Or... You're so nitpicky. I said, let's go! So that means fight already! Seriously, I need a better explanation. Stronger now. This is the power of a fury, and also the power of the bond between you and me. Gotcha. I thought a bond would be a hassle, but if it lets me bust out awesome power like that, then I guess it's not so bad. So, what was that condition you mentioned earlier? I'm the one who decides my fate. Even if I have to will that fate into existence, make sure you never forget that. Basically, I'm going to eat when I want to eat and sleep when I want to sleep. Why, you simple-minded... <sighs> Not a boy besides your heart, I the hell inside. the So, the coast should be clear now. Anyway, how can you get your memories back? If we just collect the Furies, I'm sure we'll eventually meet a Fury who knows who I am. What if we don't meet one? As long as you collect all 100 Furies, the Goddess will be revived. Once that happens, I'll remember everything. All 100 of them? Uh, that sounds like it'll take forever. Just who the heck is this goddess anyway? She's the deity who oversaw the peace of this world a long time ago. But she's in a deep sleep right now. Well, I don't want to wake her up if she's sleeping. I'll feel bad. I just want to hurry up and get your memories back so I can end this adventure already and return to my normal life. Oh, whatever. Let's just collect the furies for now. Well, 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 you just made my day. It's true, I'm very handsome. Anyway, who the heck are you? I'm Lola. I work as a Jill of all trades. You're a fencer, aren't you? That means you're looking for furies, and I happen to peddle useful information about them. This seems a little sketchy. Do you really have useful information? Nice. You get down to business fast. I guess I'll buy what you're selling. Wonderful. Thank you for your patronage. As requested, here's some information about a theory. But before I divulge that info, you gotta pay me first. I'm running a special promotion today, so I'll sell it to you for this price. That's outrageous! No point in arguing. That's her price. Give me the money so I can pay her. 
Whoa, you're loaded! Where did you get all this money anyway? Don't tell me you stole it. While you were locked up in that cell, I sold off all my accessories. I figured you'd come in handy eventually. Huh, that's surprisingly thoughtful of you. So then, I guess we'll just go ahead and use it now. Wonderful! Thank you for your patronage. My sources tell me that a fury can be found at the Soul Plains. They say the monsters there are pretty tough. Good luck with that. Take care now. Bye-bye then. The Soul Plains, huh? That's really far. You should just... What are you saying? We're in this together, remember? I know that! Don't boss me around! I wasn't picking my nose. for today.
Hurry up and pull it out so we can get out of here already. You there? Just a moment, please. Huh? Well met, traveler. You seem quite fatigued. Oh, uh, no, not not really. No, no. I'm sure you must be exhausted. If you would, please. Have a taste of this delicious tea. It's quite effective at relieving any and all weariness. Oh, that doesn't sound half bad. I gotta admit, I was starting to get a little thirsty. Hey, uh, don't you think this is like 
super suspicious? Didn't your parents teach you not to take things from strangers? Hey! Didn't you hear a word I said? My body... I can't move. Was that paralytic tea? Jeez, Fang, come on! I told you this was suspicious! Who the hell are you? Oh my, not one word of gratitude after I just served you some delicious tea? How rude. Well, it matters not. My name is Tiara, and this is my fairy partner, Kiwi. You still have much to learn about being a fencer if you fell for such a cliché trick. You have learned a valuable lesson, yes? As a token of your gratitude, I shall accept this fury on your behalf. Hold on! That's just downright dirty! Surely you jest, for I am squeaky clean. Now... What the heck is it? More poison? No, it's an antidote. I cannot bear the thought of leaving you in this state. If you consume this, you'll be able to move in roughly five minutes. During those five minutes, I shall take my leave of you. I thought you were being kind for a second. But you're really just a low-down, dirty trickster. The only dirty thing here is your face. Your fairy friend has quite a shameful face, too. Hmm. I suppose you two are meant to be. Tell me about it. She's got a really foul mouth, too. Oh my. It seems we're getting along rather swimmingly. Now's not the time for you two to get along. You're right. Hey, you stuck-up bitch. You've got a rotten attitude. You better watch your back from now on. How can you say something so dreadful? Now that I have the item I was after, I shall take my leave of you. Good day! Hey! Wait! Hold on! Fang, get it together! We need to go after her! Your body's still paralyzed! You can't move!
Let's do this! Executing shooting slash! Yeah. Yeah. this! Stay down! Get out of here! Someone as boring and uninspired as you. And I guess I gotta use force to claim my prize. I may as well snag you while I'm at it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see that cute face of yours after it's soaked with tears. I wanna see that, too. Huh? Who the hell are you guys? to pursue me. Fame, was it? I understand. You've come to shower me with love. <laughs> you certainly are an adorable boy. That's not why. You? Are you this woman's ally? Nope. Yes, that is correct. This is my loyal servant. Oh, Fang, this bothersome rogue is attempting to force himself upon me. Would you be a dear and assist me? Heck is gonna help you. <laughs> so you're also a fencer, huh? Good timing. Hand over your fury, too. Okay. Damn. I guess I've got no choice now. Out of my way! <laughs> Not yet. I'm even stronger now! Good work, Fang. You are quite strong. What hole did you crawl out of anyway? Give us back our fury! I'm afraid I can't do that. However, I will give you something much more wonderful than any fury. What? Is it meat? Tell me it's meat! So furious mean less to you than... meat? <laughs> it's even better than meat! I shall let both of you become my servants. How does that sound? Isn't this wonderful? This makes you happy, right? Huh? I'd feel much safer traveling with skilled individuals like yourself. When a helpless, beautiful maiden such as myself travels alone, I am often accosted by all sorts of brigands. Why, you selfish little... Why should we team up with you in the first place? Oh my. This would be beneficial for you too as well. 
having more people in your party during combat is advantageous, right? Additionally, a relative of mine manages a nearby inn, so I can also provide you with a place to rest for the night. Give me a break! Why should we travel with an underhanded, conniving, two-faced? Does that inn have tasty food? Certainly. I heard that they acquired a chef from a five-star restaurant. All right, let's team up. You're just saying that for the food, aren't you? No, that's not the only reason. She's right. Battles will be way easier if there's three of us. It'll be easier to collect the Furies, too. You better not make her collect the Furies while you slack off. Anyway, take me to that inn of yours. I want to know what five-star food tastes like. Yes, please follow me. some fun with her first. prowess with the sword. My name is Sherman Challenson. Not that my name should matter to a dead man. Sherman, enemy force has received additional reinforcements. What's going on here? My loyal minions! They're... Why, you... I see. You wish to follow them into the afterlife. This will not be pleasant for you. Yushin, release your full power and prepare for assembly. Negative. Enemy strength and adequate support is assembled. Probability of victory at your current power level is 100%. I would prefer to hold nothing back when facing my enemies. But in this case, I'll make an exception. You bastard! I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but no one makes a fool out of me! I'll cut you to pieces! Your prognosis was correct, Ryushi. Now then, are you injured, sir? I'm fine. Thank you very much for saving us. Thank you, mister. I nearly did what had to be done. I delivered swift justice to those who had fallen into the ways of evil. I bid you safe travels, 
Have a wonderful day. Now then, let's go, Beach.
young child working as an informant? Are you sure that's wise? You're not putting yourself in any danger, are you? Oh, I'm perfectly fine! I might not look it, but I'm pretty tough. Now then, are you here to buy some information from me today? Sure am. Okay then, your total will come to... this much. Damn, that's expensive. We're returning customers, you know. Can't you throw a little discount our way? Why don't we just pay the fee, Thing? It is most immature for an adult to haggle with a child. Wait, what? I figured you'd complain about the price louder than any of us. <laughs> you can be surprisingly nice at times. Please, do not tease me. I am only stating the most reasonable course of action. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Now then, I've heard that there's a fury somewhere within Pervise Cave. Oh, great. Sounds like another pain in the ass. Okay, Miss Hypocrite. Guess we better get going, huh? I told you to stop teasing me. <laughs>